So this morning I've been at WAPA and I had a workshop with uh, Louis Kalyani. He came from New York and was having a look at some voice and breath techniques with us. Um, really interesting stuff to pick up. Um, we did some exercises to expand and release around the ribs um, and something that I've, it's come across before but it's really interesting to think about as well. The idea of um, pulling in the abdominal muscles and wanting to look nice and pulling in tight but in actual fact that's actually restricting your breathing so being able to allow yourself to have a belly that's really helpful um, for letting the breath in um, same thing also with having your mouth open so having the mouth um, relaxed and open when you breathe as opposed to pulling in tight um, it's inviting and it lets you um, it looks like you're happy to initiate conversation. So it makes people more comfortable when you're around them. A um, couple of little interesting tidbits that popped up. Um, the idea of vulnerability being not about being scared and closed off and worried, but about being susceptible to change, which I really liked. It's, it's an openness rather than something that's closed and and um, a difficult position to be in, which was really nice. Um, and the other one that I really liked was the idea that they can't be courage without fear. So um, it's okay to have fear, it's just what you choose to do with it. So those two things I really liked that they popped up. Um, one of the other, oh, also inspiration. <laughs> was another thing that came through too um, about the idea that inspiration is a, is a clinical term you inspire but when you take the breath in there's that that thought that energy coming through for new ideas and and uh, new ways of doing things and I'm sorry I am looking at my notes because there were some things that he said that I just wanted to to say them right if that makes sense just because they were so awesome um, we had a look at using imagery and the idea of a, a pool of vibration that's sitting deep within yourself in this internal landscape and the idea that sounds and ideas can drop in this pool like a, a pebble and that you can then just have that drop and that rebound come through the, the breath and the sound that hits your teeth. Um, we did that in, a, in an exercise with partners and what I found really interesting was that it totally got me out of my head. I was listening to the person, taking it in, and then responding in an organic way. I just responded, which was so nice as opposed to overthinking everything. And just having that image of um, the vibration and the ripple of what that person's words meant and how it made me feel, which was awesome. Um, yeah. So um, I've got lots of things in my toolkit now that I'm going to keep following on with, lots of um, ways to expand breath and sound and resonance. So um, along with the class I'm doing at PAC at the moment, hopefully I can start developing my voice and seeing where it'll take me.